Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Introspective. And as you all know, I love Super Smash Bros. I've made this entire channel based off of this game, and Ultimate is coming out soon. And I can't believe that I've reached 250,000 subscribers playing Smash 4. It's really a dream come true, and I just want to say thank you, first and foremost, before we even start the video, thank you guys so much for all of the support you've shown me over the years. I can't wait to see what's next. Now you would think that I've grown up playing Smash Bros my whole life. I'm so passionate about it, I love Nintendo, but that really wasn't the case. I really didn't get into Smash Bros this seriously until Smash 4. It's been a long and interesting road to get me to where I am today, and I honestly think that if you told me as a kid that in my adult life I'd be a professional YouTuber making Smash Bros content, it wouldn't have been believable to me in the slightest. But such is life. And as a new Smash chapter begins, I think it's time I shared my story with you all, and how I grew to love this game with all my heart. So, without further ado, this is my Super Smash Bros. story. It all started back in 2008, with a game called Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Ah yes, good old Brawl, often considered the black sheep of the Smash Bros. franchise. Now, while Brawl may not have lived up to the standards of some competitive players, for a young 15-year-old introspective who knew nothing of the tournament scene, this was my casual dream. I played this game and I played it often, but I played it in a way that not many of you probably like. Because guess who my main was? Toon Link. And guess how I played Toon Link? And yes, I used the Edgelord skin. So all you Toon Link mains out there, this is... This is a formal apology. This is me, in my rawest form, begging you, please, accept me back into your hearts. That's right, for the entirety of time that I played Brawl, six years on and off until 2014 when Smash 4 came out, I was nothing more than a mere casual player. But you know what? I didn't know any better. I had no idea that there was this huge, established, competitive Smash Bros. community, and that this game had more depth than just spamming down air every time I was above my opponent as Toon Link. I didn't even know that Meta Knight was fucking broken! I mean, I used him and I spammed the tornado, but I didn't realize I was handling a god. And the worst thing is, the thing that makes me cringe the most, is that I thought I was good at this game. I thought I was the best Toon Link main on this entire fucking planet. I didn't even Zard walk back then. The thought never even crossed my mind. But I was having fun. Everyone was out having their big competitive Smash Bros tourneys, and I was hosting my own tournaments. Oh, I guess I should explain what I mean by tournaments. See, I would sit in my basement and play the computer. I would start at level 1, go up to level 9, fight everyone in between, and level 7, 8, and 9, I would turn off the smash ball. <laughs> that was my true challenge. God. I tried to collect all the stickers and trophies. I played subspace probably a hundred times. I loved it. Brawl was my first true taste of a Smash Bros game. Yeah, I never played the original Smash Bros back when it came out. I had N64, but I was more into stuff like Ocarina of Time, Banjo-Kazooie, Majora's Mask, Pokemon Snap. Those were the games that I played. I probably didn't even know that Smash existed when I was that young. And then when the GameCube and Melee came out, I actually didn't even own a GameCube growing up. I had a PlayStation 2. And I don't regret that at all because it had such great games like Final Fantasy X, which is my favorite game of all time. So, yeah, Brawl was my first ever Smash game. I bypassed this warning a lot as a kid. Yeah, I played with the Wiimote, but I was a little rebel. I didn't put the wrist strap on. It's weird because one day I started playing with the GameCube controller. I think me and my brother got a couple, and I didn't even know it was the competitive standard for playing Smash Bros, but it helped me when I started playing Smash 4 because I was already used to the GameCube controller. Anyways, like I said, even though I was in my own little bubble, my own personal world with Brawl, I still had a lot of fun playing it over the years, but I think that's why my interest in it really started to decline as we got closer to Smash 4 because I wasn't really playing with anyone, I wasn't competitive, and my interest just kind of declined and I stopped playing it completely. I got into other games like League of Legends and MMOs and stuff, but then Smash 4 was announced and when I saw it, I just got this urge and I don't even know why to make a Smash Bros YouTube channel. And I can't really explain the reasoning for it. At this point, I just call it Divine Intervention, and I'm glad that I had this urge because I don't know where I'd be without it, but 
I just all of a sudden became obsessed with Super Smash Bros. At this point, I was still a casual player. I had no idea about the competitive scene or anything. I was probably going to be basically the amiibo farmer with this channel. But I remember coming home from work one day, and I was kind of doing a little research about Smash, and I found this video, and it blew my fucking mind. I was in utter shock at what I was seeing. I mean, obviously this is Taz, it's not real players, but I had never seen Smash move like this. I mean, it was incredible. I knew all the moves and everything, and the way that they were using them and stuff, it was blowing my mind. I had no idea that there was such depth to Brawl. Again, this is a little over-exaggerated, but this is what got me interested in competitive Smash Bros. Of all things, a tasked video of Brawl with Snake and Meta Knight is what set me on the path that I'm on today. So after seeing this, I was immediately hooked. I went through all the recommended videos and I found this. Rolex vs Professor Pro Project M Money Match. And it's still, to this day, my favorite Smash set of all time. I loved it. I even went and started playing Project M myself. That's how I passed the time from early 2014 until the game released in November. This is what I was doing, I was playing Project M, and holy shit did I suck at it. Of course I tried maining Snake after watching Rolex and Professor Pro, and yes, I was really bad, but the point was, I was teaching myself competitive Smash. I was learning all the terms, I learned how to do things like tech, and I learned the technical terms like fair and bear and all that shit. I found out what Dacus was, like there were so many things that I was figuring out and finding out that was just getting me so excited because it was like a whole new world for me. And then, Smash 4 came out, and I was ready to be a competitive player. I got on for glory, I picked Lil Mac, and I probably lost my first 35 matches in a row. I'm dead fucking serious. Yeah, I was just getting my ass kicked, so if you're a new player and you're losing a lot, don't feel too bad about it. It happens to everyone. You'll get better eventually, I did. I picked up Charizard, and then I started winning games, and that's when I made my first Smash 4 video, Reasons to Main Charizard. It's a mess, it's terrible, I made it on Windows Movie Maker, it sucks. It's funny because at the same time I was learning how to play Smash competitively, I was also teaching myself how to make videos, so I really went all in on this whole YouTube thing and I'm glad it worked out. So I had about 50 YouTube subs at this point and one day I posted this Charizard clip of me getting this like double shield break on this Mega Man and he fell to the blast zone and it was pretty funny and I posted it on the Smash Reddit and somehow made it to the top of the Smash Reddit and Etika saw it and he made a video reacting to it and that helped me get like 200 more subs so at that point I went from like 50 to 250 and that's a big jump for a really small channel and from that point forward I just really truly committed to Smash 4 content. I took advantage of it and I was posting a video every single day for months on end and they were small like meme for glory videos and stuff not really any of the kind of videos that I make today but they were getting me momentum and people were subscribing and enjoying it and around the time I got probably I'd say a thousand subs I hopped on the mic I started talking about Smash and showing off how goofy the game is and stuff because that's how I always enjoyed Smash I always saw it as a fun goofy game and I wanted to share that with people and by doing so I made things like character main stereotypes how Melee players see Smash 4, the Miiverse videos, all that stuff. And that's when my channel really started to take off. I think I got from like a thousand subs to like over 30,000 by the end of that summer. And at that point I became a YouTube partner. I quit my job at the restaurant I was working at and I went all in on YouTube. I had some money saved up for my job and even though I wasn't making too much, with the money I saved I was getting by every month and you know, to me that was worth more than making all the money in the world not doing something I was passionate about. I was having fun, I was enjoying it. I was really starting to realize that this is what I wanted to do with my life and I just kept going man and here we are today with Ultimate on the horizon. It's crazy. And that's it, that's my Super Smash Bros story. I couldn't be any happier with how it all unfolded and it's my life now and I couldn't be more grateful to you guys as fans for allowing me to live my dream. The weird, random dream that popped into my head 
back in 2014 that I still can't explain, but god damn do I love this game now. So thank you guys so much. My favorite thing about this all is when someone says, your videos are what got me into Smash Bros, because that's how I got into Smash Bros, playing the game casually, and then one day I found a video, and that was it. So for me to do the same thing for some of you guys, that's truly, truly an honor, and I couldn't be more happy. So yeah, let me know what your Super Smash Bros story is in the comments. I'd love to hear how you guys got so into Smash Bros like me, and I can't wait for Ultimate because it's just the next great chapter for all of us. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Deuces.